<clears throat> so dear students uh, in this example what it states is a conducting loop is held below a current carrying wire PQ as shown uh, predict the direction of the induced current in the loop when the current in the wire is constantly increasing so what we can see is that there is current flowing from P to Q and this current is constantly increasing with time now because of this in, uh, increasing current we know there will be magnetic lines of forces so the concept beh uh, behind that is like this like here we see there is a uh, we use a right hand thumb rule in which we place our thumb in the direction of uh, the current and then we curl our fingers so the direction in which we curl our fingers that gives us the magnetic lines the direction in which the magnetic lines will be aligned so in this case if we put a thumb uh, with this current we'll realize that the magnetic flux due to this uh, due to this flowing current in pq in uh, through the uh, through the through this loop will be inwards now because it is inwards and it is con uh, constantly increasing because the current increases so that means this flux is constantly increasing so we write here that this is increasing constantly with time so we write increasing flux now obviously the concept that will help us to find out the direction of the induced current is a very important concept which is known as the Lenz law now Lenz law states uh, that an in induced current in a closed conducting loop will appear in such a direction that it opposes the change that produced it so what is the change that produced it for example this was a change that the flux was constantly increasing inwards so the induced current to in order to oppose this will try to create an outward flux that means in the outward direction like this so in order to create this outward flux or uh, what we can say is that the induced current will be in this direction that is anti-clockwise so in it will create a, an induced current that will be anti-clockwise that will be opposing this change so that is that is the answer to our solution so we can just say that it will produce anti-clockwise anti-clockwise will be the direction of the induced current 